Okay, so now the masking work's done, we can move on to the compositing. Check use nodes and backdrop, and then let's delete the render layer. Let's move this out of the way. Shift A, and we want to add in a movie clip. And if we check this icon here, we can uh, select the movie clip we've been working with, and then plug that in, and add a viewer node. So now we've added a viewer node, we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to start with the scar first, and then we're going to probably change the eye color, and then if we've got time, add some grunge to the face. So let's uh, shift A. We're going to go down to distort, and then select plain track deform. Just add this in here. I say shift A, go to color, and then mix. And we'll plug this into the bottom string, and then when I press control, shift, and right click, I can see the see what it's viewing. So let's plug this in, and it's black, so we need to check this uh, alpha box here, so it renders the alpha. So let's move things around so we've got a bit more space, since we're going to add quite a few more nodes as we go on. Let's uh, select this icon here and select the movie clip. Select this icon here and choose camera. And then select this one. Uh, try again. <laughs> Select this one and we want to choose plain track. So now we can see that the plain track's on the face, and if we scrub through, it sticks to it fine. Okay, so we want to shift A and go to input, add in an image. Now, this image is uh, the thing I used was, you know, like a fake scar from a joke shop. I just took a picture of it um, with my camera and then just put it into Photoshop, and this is the result. So we just want to uh, change this, so we go shift A, go down to a distort, and we want to use transform, and plug this in here. So this um, will give us all the tools we need to transform and move it around. Also give us a bit more space for when we add the uh, some more nodes to change the colour. So I'm just going to play around with these values until I get something that I like. So something like this looks good. Shift A, go to colour, RGB curves. Um, so I'll shift A, the color hue saturation so between these two nodes we're going to try and match the color of the skin so let's just um, let's change this channel to the red channel and decrease this something like this and we're going to try and match the uh, the background face so let's just change the color as well and we also want to reduce the saturation. Now the back plate or the face at the background is uh, that's not the color we want to use so I need to color grade this first before I continue trying to match the scar. So I'm just going to sh uh, duplicate these and just going to speed this ahead. Okay so this is before and after so it's dead red at the beginning and it's just a bit more green and a bit more toned down. Um, I also want to add some more contrast to this, so Shift A, add in a mix, plug that in there. And then I just want to take that value and plug that in so it's both the same. And I'm going to Shift A and go to um, Converter, RGB to black and white, and plug this on the bottom string. And then I want to change the blend type from Mix to uh, Soft Light. So if we see this at zero. For without the effect working and as we slowly increase this we see the contrast um, creeping in which I think it helps just a little bit I just want to add a little bit more orangey colour to this that looks fine just it's not really much if you show you with and without it's hardly any difference so now we can um, try and get this <laughs> try and get the scar looking a little bit closer to the skin tone now we're happy with the actual the background again I'm not going to do too much work with trying to blend this into the face right now I'm gonna, I'll come back later on and spend more time on it but yeah this is essentially how to do it oh I mean the, there may be easier ways to uh, to blend this into the face I mean if you guys got any tips make sure you leave it in the comments below it's always great when you guys have got some comments on how to improve things. So I'm going to come back later on and improve the scar. But for now I think we can just move on. So Shift A 
and I want to add in um, a mask so go to input and then mask so now I want to change this mask and we want this one to be the eyes no we want to change this one to eyelids because we want to uh, knock a hole into this scar so let's plug this mask into the factor of the mix node and it's kind of working just in the opposite way so shift A go to color and invert and just plug this in here yeah it's kind of working now I'm not too happy with the top scar and the top bit I will come back later on and remove that that's not it's not too hard but I'll focus on the bottom part for now so the problem that we have the edge is a bit too sharp so if we go shift A go to filter and dilate your road this is one of my favorite nodes it's very useful um, but yeah if we plug this in and zoom in I'll show you what it does so this edge is very sharp if we change this to feather and then if we change this to a minus number this will give us a nice feathering sort of blends it nicely it's looking better so just make some room for because we're going to add some more nodes Let's go shift A and add in another mix node, we might as well change the eyes now. I'm going to shift A, go to colour and then gamma. Plug this gamma node in here. If I just reduce this down to something small, we'll see where it, I'll show you where it does. So obviously that's way too much, let's switch this back to 1. We also need to shift A, go to input and then mask. And then let's just plug this into the factor. And then change this one, we want this one to be the eyes. So make sure you select the eyes. And now if we reduce the gamma, we want to go to about 0.4 or 0.5 is a good value. For this example anyway. Um, as you can see it brightens the eyes, it looks kind of fantasy type, dark elfish. <laughs> but yeah, if we zoom in we can see we've got two problems. We need to mask out this top part here, uh, and that's far too sharp. So what we can do is we just shift A, go to colour and mix again. It's a lot of colours and mixing. So plug this in here. So what we want to do is just want to duplicate this ma uh, this mask node and then change this one to the eyelids. So if it's confusing, I apologise. This top one's eyes and the bottom one's the eyelids. We're just plugging these both in because we want to combine these. So if we change this one now to divide, I think, yep. Yeah. See, so divide works perfect. If we isolate this, it's taking our original circle mask and this eye mask and then it's giving us this mask, which is going to work perfectly for us. It's looking a bit better. We've still got sharp edges. So what we can do, Shift A, um, Filter, and then my favourite node, the Dilate Your Road node, plug that in. And change this to Feather. And again, reduce this into the minus numbers. So anywhere between 20 and 30 is a good number, a good number for this example. So you, you get that original eye color coming back, which looks brilliant. It's exactly what we needed. So it's why we didn't need to add a feather um, in the first part of this tutorial. So because of this one node, it just literally does the job for us. <laughs> okay, so if you want to add some more adjustments to the eyes, you just want to put, them, put it straight after this... Um, this gamma node. So straight after this gamma node you want to add like maybe an RGB curves and anything else. So what I want to do is just group these together since it's getting in the way. So just select all these, shift G, make a group. You don't have to. But um, if you find things are getting a bit messy and you don't need to use them anymore, just put them in a group. Okay, so shift A. I'm going to add in uh, RGB curves and this is just going to brighten up the eyes a bit more. So we're just going to boost these. Shift A, we go to Hue Saturation. I just want to decrease the saturation. There's a little bit of colour in the eyes that I want to get rid of. That's a bit better. 
So this is the final node tree and I've tidied things up since it was getting a little bit messy so I put a few things into groups so things like the masks I put them into a group and if you've not used groups before I've got a tutorial that shows you um, basically how to use them so yeah I started grouping a few things like the colour correction and just a whole bunch of things <laughs> so it looks a little bit tidier but I'm just going to go show through show you the difference between the original then with um, a bit of colour correction so I just tab into this group again this is one of the no groups so you just tab in and out of it and we see what it does it goes from quite orange to a, a bit more green a bit more flat which I like then I added a bit more contrast to it and then this one going through which is the shadows on the eyes a bit of grunge so it's not too bad then this scar this scar I needed quite a bit of work if we preview it now we see it's, it kinda matches the skin a lot more than it did um, I've just disabled this this um, shadow uh, actually let's just let's just mute this one here so we can still see the scar yeah so the scar needed quite a bit of work to blend into the face so when you're happy with the face that's when you can go ahead and do some color correction um, if I just mute this we can see that's the original and then with the color correction that's the difference so I'll just tab into it and there's only a few more nodes that I added on we've still got the hue saturation which I desaturated a little bit and then for the curves I reduced the red channel and also reduced the overall color value so it gives this effect then they added the brightness and contrast and you can see these are the values I used and then the color balance that's what gave me the best uh, result the overall look to it so if we tab out of this and preview it with the hole we can see it's tons better than the original um, obviously you could probably put a bit more work into it but um, I guess that looks fine for now so the eyes um, again I only added a couple of well one more node to this so we can see we've got the gamma then we just reduce the saturation and I just added two RGB curves with a little bit of difference to it so we just zoom in see where the eyes hit I like it kind of faded out it gives me a more of a fantasy look but I know there's going to be people who don't want that so I'm just going to show you how you can bring in the pupils I'm going to do that by using this mask now I'm going to tab into this group and we can see this is probably what you've got So this is the mask setup that you should have. If you want to throw it into a group, it's pretty simple. Just select them all and then press Ctrl G and just throw it into a group like this. Again, you don't have to. This is just if things are getting a bit too messy and it gives you a bit more freedom. So I'm going to tab back into this group here, which is the masks. And if we isolate this to preview it, we see what uh, each of them do. And we can see that we combine them both together. What we want to do is just punch a hole straight through these eyes and if we use this mask we can actually do that so if we just preview this and then if we want to shift D and duplicate this um, dilate your road node and then we need to change this now to step and we can see this is what it does it so it shrinks it but the side effect is it gives it into a diamond shape so set that back to zero just reduce it slowly we can see yeah, it starts turning into a diamond, which we don't want. We can fix that in a minute, so don't worry about that. So I'll reduce this down to something like this, maybe to minus 25. Shift D and duplicate this. And then we just set this back to zero for now. Change this from step to feather. And then we want to go into the positive values, so just increase that a bit more. So we just added a blur node between these two notes, um, if we isolate this to see what it does. Let's increase this to around 20 or 30, something like that. And we can see it just turns it into a circle, so which is what we want. Maybe 25. Again, these values are entirely up to you and the scene that you're working on, so keep that in mind. Again, you want, if you want to change the size of it, you can play around with these values here. Okay, so we need to combine these now with the original mask. So Shift A, go to Color, then down to Mix. Again, you can combine this any way you want. You can probably use a Math node, but I'm just going to use a Color node. Plug them in. 
the trouble we find with this mask is they're both white. <laughs> we need to turn this one here into black, so we just need to invert the colours. Shift A, go to colour, then invert. Just drop this invert node here between these two. And if we now preview this, and if we change it from mix to multiply, and there we go. So it does need a little bit more refining. And what we can do if we just move these over like this. So between the invert node, if we just shift A and then go to converter, and we want to add um, a color ramp, which is up here. We put this in between these two. Now, when we crunch these black values, we can see that the black gets uh, sharper. And again, it's entirely up to you, you know, how much sharpness you put on it. Okay, so if we leave that original input plugged in and we just plug this one underneath it, it adds a new um, output value. It's now named it image, so we can rename this something like better mask. I'm just going to show you the difference. You don't have to do this step. This is just to show you the difference with and without this. So that's the original mask that we had before, but with the new mask we can punch a hole straight through and uh, bring some of that black detail back. So that's the steps entirely up to you whether you want to add that or not. Some examples you probably will need to do that all the time, some examples you won't. So it's up to you if you want to use that or not. Again, if you want to make adjustments, you can do that easily. You can increase or decrease the size of this, also reduce the feathering as well. It's entirely up to you. But then you can go ahead and add some colour correction, some colour balance and some other good things. It's entirely up to you. Go ahead and make this scene your own. So hopefully this tutorial helped. Uh, if it did, be sure to give it a like. As always, thanks for watching.